everybody. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, I did start my regular food stage, which was last Wednesday after being on soft foods for two weeks. And so far I haven't really changed what I've been eating a whole lot lately. Um, just because it's been so cold out, we've been having like negative 25 degree weather and been tired when I come home from work. So not really feeling like getting out and getting new foods, but that all changes tomorrow. Another cold day. Um, which is like a snow day, but no snow. We're just off of school because of the cold. So tomorrow I'll be going grocery shopping and I'll be posting a bunch of new recipes and different things that I'm eating. What I have changed is I started eating protein bars. So I tried a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, Think Thin. Um, it's really, it's a little lackluster. Like you can definitely not taste, you can definitely taste that there's no sugar in it. So, um... Which is, you know, a good thing that there's not that much sugar in it. Or in some instances, no sugar. But, um, the t you know, it definitely compromises the taste. So, um, I tried those. I've also tried some Cliff Bars, which are probably the worst ones out of all of them. Um, I did the Cliff Builder ones. Um, this other one that I'm not sure I'm even going to try it because... I don't know, there's some chemical sugar in it, and I'm, I don't know if I'm so keen on that. And then this one called Daryl's Natural, I think it is. I have the wrapper, a picture of it, and I'm going to post all the pictures of all the food um, below this video. Um, and that one was the absolute best. 32, I think, grams of protein, and tasted so good, and it's all natural. I just can't say enough about it. Of course, it's expensive, but I'm looking into finding whole boxes of it, maybe on Amazon or somewhere, or even contacting the health food store that I got it at to see if I can buy a box from them. Um, it was delicious. It makes me want to eat no other protein bar ever again. So, um, that's that on that protein. Um, I found some vegan, um, sausage. So there, it's not made with any soy, um, all natural, made with all these different vegetables and um, they have an Italian one and an apple sage, and uh, I found today a Mexican chipotle, and I got those at Whole Foods. Um, so really good. I'm going to use those to put into a stuffed pepper, couscous, goat cheese, and vegan sausage mix, um, and I'll be posting the recipe for that. So I think I'm going to make those tomorrow. And then I went to get some kashi, and because I can have cereal now, and... I was going to get cashy because it tastes really good. I love it. And um, I saw Engine 2, this brand called Engine 2, which is the brand of the son of Dr. Esselstein, who is the doctor on Forks Over Knives, that documentary I mentioned in previous posts. And um, so he has his own cookbooks and like almond milk brand and cereal. So I got his cereal. I got three different flavors. And I tried it today. And there's definitely, you know, lack of sugar in it, which is good. But um, for people who are used to eating a lot of sugar, you can definitely taste that there's not sugar in it. But um, we don't need extra sugar. So um, it's good. Something else to eat. It really expands when you put the milk on it or whatever, you know, milk alternative you might use. Um, it expands because I measured it and did a half a cup because that's one serving. And it expanded to like a full cup. So I couldn't eat it all. But, um, so I think tomorrow I might do a quarter of a cup, so that when it expands then it will only be a half a cup, and that's as much as I can eat. So, um, it was way better than Kashi. Um, everything was better about it. Less sugar, more fiber, more protein, so that's why I chose to buy it and give it a try. Not saying I won't ever eat Kashi again, but just, um, trying to get, you know, a jump start on less sugar, better foods, healthier foods, and, um... Yeah, so I'll post a picture of all the stuff that I bought today. Um, officially on regular food stage. So I'm going to be putting up a lot of recipes and a lot of different things that I'm eating. Um, of course, you know, I am a vegetarian, so my, my foods and recipes will be vegetarian friendly. When George has his surgery, he'll have some more meat up there for you guys. But for anybody who um, likes to eat... Uh, vegetarian dishes or wants to cut out some 
meat from their diet, my recipes will be good ones to follow. So stay tuned for some recipes, and um, if you have any questions, please leave us comments. And thank you so much for your support and following us.